Ooh, welcome man, welcome, welcome back 20. to the oh, guys, real quick, real quick, hey guys, and you can see by the cover, it's a Jeep, now, oh uh, guys, this car was towed in, they put it in an awkward spot, let me see some. oh yeah, the, the uh, insert's still in here, guys, uh, it's a no start, uh, no key, so I'm gonna have to program a key, let me tell you something guys, let me give y'all a warning, heads up, for everybody that uh, this happened to. I mean, this can happen and put you in an emergency state, okay? You're trying to figure, oh my goodness, what should I do? What should I do? Uh, and the name of my channel is Online Mechanic Tips, so I'm going to give you a tip on what to do if this happened. Guys, it's not the end of the world, okay? Now, you will have to eventually get another key, but if you're in an emergency state and you stuck, you know, in no man's land, and trying to get home. Listen, guys, if this breaks, you still can start the car. This is just the insert that turns, that releases the tumblers to allow the ignition cylinder to turn. The magic is not happening right here. The magic happens right here. Okay, there's a chip inside of here that's trying to match up with the module that's inside of here because there's also, uh, some would call it a skill module, some would call it a screen module, some may call it a node or wireless control module, okay, but at any rate, it is uh, for security purpose, okay, uh, if your key, if a little, the little chip inside of this key do not match this module, even if you can turn this, it doesn't matter. If the, the modules, if these chips doesn't match, it will not allow you to start the car. It will, but it will shut right back off if it sees that there's a discrepancy in the signals, meaning it's not the right key. Okay, so after three tries of this, guys, you're done. Okay, you're going to go into auto theft mode, which means you have no more cranking capability. It's going to snatch away crank. Okay, the computer is going to tell the PCM, look, somebody's trying to steal me. Somebody's trying to steal this car. So I gave them three chances to get it right. They're still using the wrong key. So how about you just shut the whole car down? Don't even allow cranking anymore because they're going to eventually tab something or damage something. And the PCM obliged. Okay, Mr. RKE module. No more cranking for this person. So you will not crank anymore. But back to my point. The magic is not here, guy. The magic is in here. So if your key broke off and you still have the the insert, you can use the insert to turn the turn the ignition cylinder. Like I say, the broken piece that you broke off, just put it somewhere nearby the key. Matter of fact, just do this. If you if this, let's assume this is the broken part, okay. Uh, just take it, put it up next to the key, and turn them both together. The car should start. The goal is to put the 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 key chip close to the key module. All right, it has to be in the vicinity. It has to be close nearby. All right, put it up here, turn both, and just start your car. That way you can get to a secure location. Okay, a lot of people like I think this person wasted money on a tow truck driver okay she still have the broken part in her hand i was like you could have used that to start your car and drove up here you still need a key but at least you could have saved two hundred dollars on a tow truck now i'm not trying to take revenue stream away from the tow truck driver guys i love y'all it's not that but i am here for my diy guys and my uh people that's trying to save money i'm sorry tow truck but uh <laughs> I mean, it's a slippery slope, man. Okay, it depends on whatever you're doing, I guess. But I just want to put that out there, guys. Now, let me get on to the matter at hand. All right, this is my new key. I have to program this key to match this car. Guys, uh, this is a 2016 model, I want to say. So it is not a rolling skim code. I did have to go and retrieve the skim code for this vehicle based off this vehicle's VIN. VIN vehicle identification number, okay? You have to have that in order to go to... The parts department, the dealer parts department, they can retrieve your security code. Some of the newer cars, they are rolling skim code, meaning you only have a certain amount of time to do it. In this case, I do not have, I'm not uh, under those limitations. So I can essentially leave the skim module in the customer's glove compartment. They will have their own skim module. To me personally, I think if you own the car, you have the right to your own personal security module to your car. I mean, goodness gracious. All right, guys, I don't want this video to be long. 
I'm about to program this key, and I'm sorry. Yes, it turns. It just, let me show y'all what I'm talking about as far as if this is the wrong key. Pay attention what happened. Let me wait till the bell go off. See that? It started it, and then it died. Then you may get this little red LED light flashing. That just simply means, wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I saw a crank signal, but this 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 key do not match the skill module. Shut her down. Shut her down. Now, again, if I did this three times, let me do it again. All right. One more time, and I'm done. Let me see what happens. There's my third time. Now, since I'm about to program this anyway, and for this example, I'm going to show y'all. Uh-oh. I got four times. It died. Let me see if they give me a fifth time. Uh-oh. This is a 2016 model, guys. They may have changed. I just died. Now, let me see. Whoa. There you go. It died. There we go. You're done, buddy. No more cranking for you. Look at that. Don't matter what I do. It's done. This vehicle is now in theft mode. You cannot steal it. You cannot crank it. You cannot do nothing until you make this key match the RKE module or the screen module inside of here. That's what I'm about to do. Guys, I apologize. I cannot film and hold my scan tool in my hand. I need my camera phone to in order to perform this task. So I would do some screenshots, but I can't. I have to shut the camera down and program this key. I'll get y'all some screenshots just to, some people just like to see it, even though they can't do it. All right, so stay tuned, guys. I'll be right back with some screenshots, and I'll end this video afterwards. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, as you can saw from the screenshots, I just programmed the key. Now let's see if I get my cranking capabilities back. Here we go. Yep, it starts and now it runs. So guys, uh, I know this is a fairly lengthy video for a simple procedure, but I wanna really wanted to touch home that just because this happened is not the end of the world you at least will have the capability to crank and start the car and get out of potential harm's way. All right, guys, so that's all I have, guys. Thanks for watching. Come and subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Let's park, drive. Whoa, guys, I'm in gear and I ain't moving. Oh my goodness, guys. Y'all know what happened? Oh, this was told in. Remember, I guarantee you, in order for them to get it on the truck, they had to disconnect the truck. Oh, guys, I'm going to have to start another video. I cannot leave this one going that long. So, uh, matter of fact, right after this, going to be another. I'll just name it part two. I'm sorry. I'm going to show y'all what to do in the event this happened. I have no gears, and I think I know why. So, let me start another video. Stay tuned for part two.